Yes. What is our second main topic today? Second topic is from Tommy Doyle. Variety, Variety just like posted. Like from Halloween? <laughs> Variety just posted on Twitter that the Academy is thinking about having not one, not two, but three hosts for the 2020, uh, 2022 show. That names that year still sounds fake. I can't say it, it right. It does fake. sound fake. <laughs> We're living in the future. <laughs> According to the tweet, Amy Schumer, Regina Hall, and Wanda Sykes will be hosting the Oscars. This was a move I never saw coming. I think this should be interesting. Should the Academy allow more than one host for their show? I'm overly pumped to see the Oscars on TV, and I'll love to hear your thoughts. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in. Yeah, it was on yesterday's show, uh, as we were getting into the last bit of yesterday's show, that the news broke that the Oscars, we thought they were going to officially announce today, but they let the news drop yesterday. They have their Oscar trio hosts. They're going with the trio. Now, they've done a trio before. They, that, that has happened before. They don't do it often, but it has happened before. And it's a trio of Wanda Sykes, Regina Hall, and Amy Schumer. Three individuals that I like. I mean, I really like Trainwreck. Uh, she wasn't able to really mount much after that, but I like Trainwreck. I think that's good. Regina Hall, I mean, look, she's one of the girl, uh, girls trip. The one, uh, I mean, that that movie is so one of my favorite comedies in the last 10 years. That That is just one of my favorite comedies, and I love her. I do. Wanda Sykes has been in this business a long time. Again, I'm loving her as the voice as the Queen of Fables and Harley Quinn. But this is a terrible lineup. And, and, I, and I feel badly saying that about three performers and three individuals I like. But I like Ray. I, I don't think he should be hosting the Oscars. <laughs> he I think should. Ray, He'd do a great man. job. Well, maybe he should. I don't know. Oh, for Ben dude, Fisher. He, it would Nothing probably I've be watched. wildly entertaining. I've watched. <laughs> I'd watch, dude. Moonfall. <laughs> And nobody for best picture. <laughs> I, I mean, I I, I I like myself. I don't think I'd be a very good host for the Oscars. I, I will tell you what, I do not like this lineup. I, I don't like it at all for a couple of reasons. One, I, I mean, this is the biggest night of the year for my favorite thing, the movies. There, There needs to be some sense of I don't know the word I'm looking for, uh, whether it's cachet or whether it's um, prestige or whether there's like something along those lines. I look at this lineup of three people that I that I like and think this feels like the Toledo Film Critics Awards hosts. I, I mean, and and I again, I I'm trying to figure think of ways to say this that doesn't sound like I'm trying to be disrespectful to these three individuals because I think these three are talented people that have entertained me at various points in my life over the years, really very much. But when I think of the highest night of the year in the movies, I try I want to see the biggest names in the movies, the people with that have the biggest status in these movies, the people that might have awards their own stand, sitting on their mantles, right? And look, and I don't even mind the idea. You know what the Oscars have never done? They've never had three women host. They've had women host. They've even had three people. They've never had three women host. Never, It's never happened. But if you want to have three women host, that's great. I can think of a million combinations off the top of my head that would be better. For instance, let's go, um, let's go Halle Berry, Viola Davis, and Scarlett Johansson. Who wouldn't watch that? Well, yeah. Who? I mean, that is prestige. That is power. That is high high platform. That is recognizable names. These are great performers. You have the right writing cast behind them. These three could absolutely pull that off with a lot. Let me give you another <laughs> example here. Or how about another set of three? I just went out of, the, out of my ass here. Kerry Washington, Kate Winslet, Sandra Bullock. I mean, this is a this. You've got awards-winning power. You've got relevancy today. You've got all. The, okay, you you don't like those three? I don't know. I'll throw another one out there. What about Enno Stone, Regina King, Rashida Jones? Oh, I like that one. I mean, Regina King. You can't blame her for last year. That wasn't her. Like, I think she's a great idea to host the Oscars. So you've got Academy Award winners. Rashida Jones is absolutely hilarious. I mean, again, you just get great performance. What about uh, Lupita Nyong'o? I don't know. I could come up with a Angela dozen. Angela Bassett, Lupita Nyong'o, and uh, <laughs> Meryl Streep. 
I mean, any of these combinations. Kyle, <laughs> Stan, Kenny, and, Car <laughs> and Cartman, baby. Just bring up the automated no, South Park I, thing. I think what you're saying is, look, if this was the roast of the Oscars, mm. you know, I would say fantastic. But but this is the biggest. That would be night. a great pre-Oscar night event for them to hold, like roast a the, roast of the Oscars. I, I, I watch the Spirit Awards. The roast. Yes, yeah. 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 it's all done at the Spirit the Awards. Roasties. But I think what you're looking at is 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 these are this is the best. This is Hollywood, the best of the best. It is. It's the glitz and glamour, and we're, we're exporting Hollywood dreams to the rest of the world. Whether you want to be cynical and talk about Hollywood patting itself on the back, giving themselves awards, whatever. I mean, I've been watching the Oscars since I was a little kid. I love the Oscars. And one of the things is you want to see hosts that represent Hollywood at its best. Now, I'm not saying that these three performers don't, but, you know, Wanda Sykes is more of a, she's been in movies, but I equate her more now to television. Same with Amy Schumer. She's got a new Hulu show coming out with Michael Sarah. <laughs> Good great. on her, you know, which is, is going to be great. But these are not, these are not, you know, movie stars. And I wonder, like, it's sort of incongruous. I mean, there's been talk show hosts and other people that have hosted the Oscars, but even those talk show hosts have talked to all of the stars that are winning awards. And I just, I, I, I find it baffling that this is who they came up with of yeah. everybody. I, I, again, look, this isn't going to drive the oscars off the highway into the ditch no I, I, i'm not saying that but, but what about just, the like, worldwide audience are I, they going to know who these people see, are not only that but it's like we this is a return for the oscars because last year shouldn't have even happened they shouldn't have even had a ceremony last year but this is the return of the oscars and i just like really this is our best foot for again three people i like but there's no way i should be hosting there's no way ray should be hosting I, I like these people, but I, I just feel like there were better combinations. I don't know. You hear about this, Chris. What, what do you think of the, the trio they got? I mean, it is kind of an eyebrow raise because like we talked about briefly yesterday was what brings this trio together? I, we had talked about the Spider-Man or, or I had suggested, you know, we get the only murders in the building crew in there. Which, which that, would I be, would that was a great love. idea. Great. That was a great um, idea. I think that'd be super, super fun. Um, <laughs> but I just don't understand why we have these three women who I respect and admire so much. I think they're all wonderful. Yep. What it really comes down to, though, is the writers of their jokes and everything. And yes. and you know, we know, we know that these women can deliver a joke. So I'm confident in that. It just comes down to how the writers are going to deal with this. And also some of the other options you gave us, John, they did have prestige, but we've seen SNL when a host bombs because they can't deliver a punchline yeah. or they're just awkward in that live scenario. And these are three performers who I do think thrive in a live setting. So I'm cautiously optimistic. What do you think, I, Ray? I think we should just do two guys, the most important guys in Hollywood right now, Jason Killar and Bob Chapek. <laughs> Jason Killar and Bob Chapek hosting the Oscars, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I, Man, the I fathers love, of streaming right there. I, I'm I not going to lie. I'd watch that. <laughs> I'd watch that to see them <laughs> trip over themselves. The chat saying the Muppets, and I'm here for it. Uh, yeah. The, the, we yeah. talked about that before. I love exactly. it. The Muppets. I love the it so like, much. All joking aside, the Muppets are Hollywood royalty. Yeah. The Muppets have history, and they're generational, and they're always relevant, and they're always great. I mean, I would take that. Elmo. Elmo's on Twitter. Elmo and his pet rock or his Elmo, little yeah, pet I know. Rocco. Imagine the band. He, that he is not his together. pet rock. He oh, is, that's so that he doesn't he does not understand like Rocco. He does not like Rocco. I forgot about the that. band. Feud. Gonzo running he and the band leader. Oh, with electric mayhem. Playing oh. the music. Come yes. on. You, no one's gonna complain if the Muppets bomb. I mean, it's the Muppets. They're they like they would. It's the internet, no, right? Gonna, because even if they start bombing, you got Statler and Wardorf up in the. That's uh, exactly. exactly. The That's whole time. Save all the stupid and you jokes. And the Swedish chef coming in to do the interludes. Mm, pretty, pretty. I mean, like, I, look, I'll, all I'm saying is th there's a part of me that's uh, maybe a little bit butthurt because I just, I really, when, once it got brought up, I loved the idea of Tom Holland hosting and then you kind of add on top of that, what, have Tom, Andrew, and think because it would be appropriate. These guys kind of saved the movie industry this year. That, like putting out one of the biggest that, like this that one movie is singly financing the entire industry right now so there's something and people love them, there's something appropriate but again if you wanted to go with something like this i just think there are many other combinations of people that would have been a better fit or snoop dogg and tom holland wouldn't that have Tick. been great <laughs> boom i would i would have watched it i mean i, I mean snoop dogg is just Put him in anything. As long as he's speaking, I, I'm going to love it. <laughs> but hey, listen, let me throw this out there, too. We could get to the end of Oscar night, 
and be saying this was the best ceremony they've ever exactly. done. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's so true. listen, like I'm saying, pre it happening, I do not like these selections at all. Even though I think all three of them are, are great, I don't like this selection at all. But I'm going to go into the Oscars with an open mind. And at the end of it, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and say, this was the best thing ever. At least I hope so. Uh, and we'll we'll see how it goes. But, but this you is know, what they got. I also miss, like, look, say what you want. When Billy Crystal would host, you know, Oscar, duh, he would have his song he would sing. And then he would do the whole medley the montage that was part of the show i actually looked forward i loved that growing up i, I oh, did yeah. too yeah, i mean i adored that us, you know it was great and that was part of the show now i feel that the oscars don't have any show identity like when you had recurring hosts or there were there were tropes that they would play i feel like part of what's the the problem with the oscars is there is no more show it's all over the place and it's it's not focused it's like well let's get rid of the musical numbers or let's keep changing things around and they don't necessarily change things for the better yeah. and it's kind of weird and I, I feel like every year they're trying to grasp and let's make it different and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not you know i really like the oscars that justin timberlake opened you remember that one didn't he, oh, open when he the... sang the song from trolls yeah yeah when he sang oh, the song right. from trolls and everyone was there you know i don't that was the last Oscars I remember. They opened with a musical mm -hmm. number. They used to do it all the time. I, I look, I, you bring up Billy Crystal. I've mentioned this a dozen times. Whenever you bring up Billy Crystal hosting the Oscars, it still reminds me of, I think, the funniest joke ever at the Oscars. Steve Martin was hosting one year. And he said, hosting the Oscars is like making love to a beautiful woman. I only get to do it when Billy Crystal's out of town. Which I think was like the best joke they've ever done at the Oscars. But you know when Hugh Jackman hosted it with the big song and dance opening number. But Billy Crystal used to be great. Again, I think they can have it again. But I don't know. I just don't seem to like the approach they're doing. But who knows? Hopefully it'll turn out great. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about the selection for the Oscar host this year? I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really thrilled with it, but maybe it'll turn out great. Maybe it'll be awesome. Hopefully it does. And hopefully we all love it. Whatever you guys think, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.